What's up? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hello. So happy to have you. My name is Courtney Capano. I am a twin mother. My babies are now 10 months, which is insane. I literally cannot wrap my head around that. It goes by so fast. I am super excited to be filming this video. As you can see by the title, this is going to be a baby must-haves video for the first year. I have done videos showing you what I registered for when I was pregnant on my baby registry. I think I've talked about like newborn must-haves. I've done videos through different phases of my life, so definitely check all of those out. But this video is really me looking back on the past 10 months and going through all of the baby products that I did register for, all of the things that we used, things that I wish we didn't buy, just to tell you from the perspective of a new mom <laughs> that has just gone through a whirlwind of the first, you know, almost year of a baby's life, we're constantly you know, being thrown different items that we need as new parents and, you know, it's consumerism. Brands are throwing things at you constantly and you're marketed to believe that you need all these things, but the truth is you don't need a lot of the things that are thrown at you. However, there are a lot of items that I swear by and things that really got me through these last 10 months, so I'm going to talk to you um, about those as well. I'm just hoping that this can give you some insight into, you know, what you really need in that first year. I am going to go through my baby registry items and say yes use that nope don't register for that and hopefully that's helpful so I will link my registry down below so that you can easily access all of those items and the shopping links and then anything that's not on my registry that I talk about in this video I will link directly down below now all that being said before I jump right into this video I did want to take a minute and talk about something that I always bring up in my videos and that is taking care of you as a mother or taking care of the mothers in your life because oftentimes mothers get forgotten about, especially in those early years of motherhood. You know, it's important to just make sure that we're taking care of the mothers in our lives. With Mother's Day approaching, I wanted to just remind you to treat yourself and treat the women in your life that are mothers or mother figures, people that you look up to. And this Mother's Day is extra special for me because it is my first Mother's Day and it makes me even more grateful for my own mom. She is my absolute best friend in the whole world. I go to her for everything and I really lean on her and I've leaned on her my entire life and it's funny I was getting ready and I was going through my jewelry pieces and every time I think about refreshing my jewelry or just kind of reconsidering where I'm getting jewelry from I always think of her because growing up she would always say you know take care of your jewelry and and keep the pieces that are timeless invest in good jewelry because jewelry comes back around in style and trends and things always come full circle and it's important to have nice jewelry that you can have for a lifetime and she's always said that to me and so it's always been really a value of mine to invest in good jewelry pieces and statement pieces that will stand the test of time. So that's why I've always loved Ana Luisa jewelry. Pretty much all of my jewelry is Ana Luisa at this point. It's what I wear all the time. It's not only timeless, it's sustainable jewelry. It's good for the environment. I've talked about them in so many videos. I love working with them and I am partnering with them for this video and for their Mother's Day campaign. These pieces are an excellent treat for yourself or a unique gift for a loved one. You can really elevate your everyday with long-lasting, tarnish-free pieces, and the best part is that their jewelry shines without damaging the planet or breaking your bank. I have pieces from Ana Luisa that are timeless and dainty to wear every single day, and some other pieces are more statement and they're for special occasions. You can really get the best of both worlds from Ana Luisa. I just love all of their pieces so much. I've never had a bad experience with them and I have purchased pieces for my friends, my family, my mother especially, and we're always just so excited to open a new box from Ana Luisa. And their boxes are sustainable as well, so you really just can't go wrong. It is such a wonderful gift, again, to treat the women in your life, specifically the mothers in your life, this season and with Mother's Day coming up. Truly, the best investment you can make is in yourself and in our planet, so Ana Luisa affords 
affords you all of that opportunity. You can shop them down at the link below and use the code Capano20 for 20% off. All right, now let us get into this video. So I am pulling up our baby registry, which is crazy. It's taking me back to that time. And again, I'm just putting myself in your shoes if you are trying to figure out the things that you'll need for your baby's first year. I got you. We're going to go through this together. There's no particular order. I'm just going through this registry as the items show up. And then I, again, I'm going to talk about things that are not on here. The first thing is muslin sheets. So yes, absolutely. My daughters definitely sleep better on muslin. It seems silly, but sheets can make a difference and baby sleep is so important. Target has really good ones. Those are usually our go-tos. Something else too is funny, but it's Desitin diaper rash cream. That is great if your baby has a rash, but I want to tell you something that the NICU nurses told us when we spent, you know, a few weeks in the NICU with our daughters, and that is to always put Vaseline on your baby at every change, even if they don't have a diaper rash. It helps to prevent those diaper rashes, but Desitin is the best for you know, treating a diaper rash once it's there. They do have baby Vaseline as well that you can use. You don't have to use regular Vaseline, but you can. Another tip is that there are a lot of products out there that you'll find that are, you know, baby versions of regular products. And I will just encourage you to do your research and see what things you don't necessarily need to buy the baby version of because it's usually much higher in price, but to each their own. So the Frida Baby 3-in-1 Picker, this I would recommend. It's been really helpful. It's essentially this little device that helps to clean under your baby's nails and your baby's ears. It gets boogers out of your baby's nose. It's really gentle and soft and it's been super helpful to get in those little orifices for your baby's first year. There are some decor items on here that I'm not going to go through because they're definitely not must-haves, but check it out on my registry and see if it's your vibe. I did do a full nursery tour um, on my channel and showed a lot of the cute little decor items. I can link that up here if you're interested. Shatterproof baby car mirror. Yes, I absolutely would recommend this. I know that some people say car mirrors are not safe. So again, do your own research, but I love always being able to look back and see my baby in the back seat easily. It is a shatterproof mirror, so it is safe. And it this one really adjusts very tight to your car seat so I felt very comfortable using these mirrors. So something else that I felt like I needed to get was the manual baby nose sucker where you literally suck boogers out of your baby's nose. The boogers don't actually go into your mouth. It's like a little tube and moms like swear by it. I've heard good things but it seems really powerful to me like to suck boogers out of your baby's nose like it just seemed really invasive and so we actually use this little like ball I don't even know what it's called it's like a syringe that we got from the NICU and then you can ask your doctor for these when you go to your checkups and they seem a little bit more gentle to me but they work really well. I do have woven like milk crate storage baskets on here. And again, this is kind of more of a decor item, definitely not a must, but I will say that if you can try to pick up a few cute storage bins because you're going to accumulate a lot of toys and things in your home and your nursery and your living room. And it's nice to have a cute bin to store it all in that's nice on the eyes because clutter can affect your mental health. It affects mine. Seems like a dramatic statement, but it's not. I like having nice aesthetic bins and storage units in my home to throw all of the baby things in to just give me peace of mind. So Target and the ones on my baby registry, I really would recommend. Nursery closet shelves as well. Again, you can see that in our nursery tour. These are really affordable from Target and they are um, places to put the storage bins that I just mentioned it's like a little shelf unit super easy to build doesn't take up a ton of room lots of cute clothes on my registry too that you can check out I'm not going to go through them now but please explore if you'd like a lot of the clothing the girls loved they were super cozy and they're aesthetic so that makes mama happy something that I'll mention though is that I would say in the first three months of your child's life you are going to only put them in little onesies that snap or zipper. You don't want buttons. Honestly, snaps even for like pajamas in the middle of the night are annoying. You only want zippers. You want practical and zippers are your best friend. I know they're not always the cutest, but our girls were pretty much in zippers at all times. 
for those first few months. I have a laundry basket in here. Having laundry baskets with handles are a must and really big laundry baskets <laughs> because you just never know how much laundry you're gonna be doing. I have on here this sanitize at home bundle. And again, this is something that I was marketed. I thought I needed to invest in this whole like sanitize station. No, what you need to get is these little dispensers of baby like gentle hand sanitizer. They are the best. You are sanitizing your hands constantly when you have children and sanitizer can be really rough and dry out your hands but these are so gentle and they come in packs of like 12 or something and I just have them all over my home. When like guests come over, it's nice that they can just use it. I have a few in my kitchen, the nursery. These are the absolute best. You don't need this whole sanitized station that's just in one room of your home. It doesn't make any sense. Let us talk binkies because we again are thrown all of these super neutral aesthetic binkies that are cute but are not going to work for your baby. Pretty much all the moms that I've talked to are like, no, you go with like the OG pacifiers. Drawer organizers, the ones that I have on my registry, I highly recommend. I think they're a must have for your dressers because you'll probably have a dresser in your nursery. Dressers have big drawers that are not usually divided in any way, but there's a lot of little items that you need for your baby in the nursery. And it's nice to have things structured with drawer organizers. This I absolutely recommend. It's the Hakka Baby Nail Trimmer. So good. I know a lot of people use like regular nail trimmers for babies. I would get too nervous. You hear horror stories about the baby moving. You can clip skin off. No, this nail trimmer is so gentle. I actually use it for my own nails. There's different trimmer heads so you can do some that are a little bit more intense, some that are super light when the baby's really little and their nails are not hard at all. There's great options. I also have a lot of postpartum and breastfeeding items on here. If that is your choice, check those out. I will not talk about them in this video because they're not necessarily must-haves for everybody because not everybody chooses to breastfeed, but great options on here. Everything on my registry I highly recommend for um, like nursing, breastfeeding, and postpartum. I will say the Thinks panties, the postpartum panties are amazing. I use them still for my period. I think they're so incredible for postpartum and for your period. That's something that's really important to me too is buying things that are not only going to be used for a small period of time. Like I love that a lot of these items my daughters have used throughout all of these 10 months and same thing with items for me. I wasn't one that invested in a ton of pregnancy clothing or things like that. I wanted items that I really could continue to use afterwards. Same thing with the pumping and nursing bras that are on my registry. I still wear them now and I'm no longer breastfeeding because they're practical and they're still, you know, meant for everyday wear. That's important to me. I want to invest in things for long term. Bottle drying rack. I love the drying rack that's on here. I actually have another drying rack because with twins we needed two of them that I'll link down below for you that I love as well. They're both very different, so you can kind of see what works for you, but both of these racks I found to be perfect for bottles and pump parts. So something that I don't think you need is like a bottle drying brush. You can use a regular brush in the cleaning product section of your grocery store. Again, personal choice but it gets expensive to just buy everything that's meant for babies because they upcharge all that stuff because they know we'll buy into it. Same thing, I have on here Baby Gannix foaming dish and bottle soap. Eventually we just use regular Dove for our <laughs> bottles and use whatever is comfortable for you. You can get like organic and toxic free cleaning products that are not baby marketed that are still really good for you know, meeting the needs of cleaning your baby products. Bibs, bibs are a must have. Your child will just live in a bib once they start like drooling and even while they're eating, they're just messy and if you don't wanna change them constantly because they're wet, bibs are super important. I love the bibs that go over the baby's head that don't have to be like buttoned or clasped, but if it does need to connect in the back, Velcro is your best friend. Trying to like button or like clasp a bib in the back of like a baby that doesn't have any head support is actually really hard and can be really frustrating. Velcro or the kind of bibs that go over the baby's head are the best. Bottle warmers. So we registered for the cozy warmer 
and I actually did not like it. It broke so many times. The customer service is great and they sent me two replacement cozy warmers because that's so many times ours broke. So I would not recommend this one. I'm going to put the one that we use down below in the description. So the next item I would say I regret buying and it is the Boppy nursing pillows. Yeah, we didn't use them. When you're nursing or when you're holding your baby, you can just use a pillow and put it under your arm, put it under your chest to nurse. It's less clutter because you already have pillows in your home, grab it and use it. It works just as well. I feel like these Boppy pillows are just marketed to us because why not have more things in our home? But I don't think that it was worth it. And I just felt like they just took up space in my nursery. And I was constantly just using a pillow anyway because pillows are always easily like accessible around you. Same thing, this is twin specific. This is the My Breast Friend Supportive Pillow. And granted, I was an exclusively pumping mother, so I really never had the chance to use this. But while I was putting my babies to my breast early on, I still never used it. It was too bulky, and it was easier to just kind of like put pillows underneath me. So I, I would not recommend this, and it's expensive, so definitely not worth it. We have the Munchkin Step Diaper Pail. Highly recommend. This diaper pail has seen so many diapers. <laughs> Next is a digital thermometer. So this I would not recommend buying. It is really nifty. You can download an app and it's all connected. I've never used it. If you need to like figure out your baby's temperature, that's usually like all you need to figure out and then you can call your doctor. It just seems ridiculous. This whole app, I, I just, I don't really understand it and I think it's just not worth it. You can get a regular old thermometer that works just fine. Okay, so for tummy time, a few things that I really recommend. This little duck thermometer. It is so cute, so fun, and the girls love playing with it in the tub. You just throw it in and it tells you the, the water temp. It's really important for you to know the temperature of the water. And then I have the Freedom Baby Control the Flow Rinser. It's essentially like a little pitcher. And this is something that you can definitely just find in your home. I'm sure a lot of us have little pitchers that you can use to pour water over your baby. I mean, it's only like $9.99 and it's cute. It has like a little waterfall feature to it. So I would really recommend that. And something that I absolutely recommend is the Frida Baby Grow With Me bathtub. So it's um, meant to be able to be used from the newborn stage up until, I, I think up until a year it says. Next is the Snuggle Me Organic Infant Lounger. So we are all told that we need the dock tot as mothers. They actually are not safe. There's been a lot of things that have come out that said these things are not safe. So I'm not sure that I would recommend the snuggle me or the dock tot but if you are going to get one just to have the baby chillin' while you're supervising them, I highly recommend the snuggle me from Target. They are great. They feel the exact same as the dock tot and my girls loved them and they are a fraction of the price. So would definitely recommend the Snuggle Me and that is on my registry. The Jolly Jumper, highly recommend. We got the kind that goes on the door. There are stationary ones too that I think are safe. We love these. We didn't put the girls in them until they were about six months and it's such a good activity. It helps them get comfortable with being on their feet. And so I highly recommend this. It's so important for your baby to have stations throughout their life. And I'm gonna talk about some of the other items that we bought that have served as stations for us to just put the baby to independently play. And the Jolly Jumper has been such an awesome way for them to independently play while obviously being supervised. This is a must have, the Baby Bajorn Bouncer. Highly recommend. This is a must. Our girls lived in these for their first six months of life, maybe a little less than that, but about six months, these were an absolute must in our household. I think just the bounce feature is so helpful to just settle them down, calm them. If you have twins, it's a great place to place them while you're feeding them their bottle. I just highly recommend these. They are expensive, but I think they are so worth it. And again, something to note is that a lot of these products that you get, you can resell. You can also donate, which is great to repurpose, but you get some of your money back afterwards. So the things that are bigger ticket items that are a little bit more expensive, you can usually find a place for them afterwards, whether it's Facebook Marketplace or a local baby thrift store, whatever it might be. Something that I've talked about in so many videos is Love Every. We are obsessed with Love Every. We have the Love Every play mat and the play gym. The girls still use that. They can use it up until 
however old because it's so interactive but it starts being helpful in your home from the day you bring them home from the hospital because it's stimulating and love every is this company that is backed by scientists and they have these different development toys and projects and games that they send you each month as the baby grows or it's like every three months to help you know you interact with your baby and get them to reach that new development milestone and i love love every so much i think it's an absolute must for your growing child in the first year and honestly beyond okay something that i get questions about all the time is our high chairs and they are amazing i do love them because they are aesthetic your high chair is in your kitchen and it can be an eyesore if it's not cute to be honest and so I love our high chairs and the biggest reason I love them is because they're so easy to clean. So easy. We are doing baby led weaning so it's very messy and cleaning these high chairs takes like five minutes because they come apart easy. There's no like soft cushion or anything. It just cleans easy right in the sink. Next is like baby carriers which is so important for those early months. Oh I miss it. The girls like they're not being carried in these carriers too often anymore. Sometimes we still use the baby Bajorn carrier, which I highly recommend because you can have the baby facing in towards you, which you'll do when they're like a newborn. And then we eventually turned them outward for like walks and things. And we still carry them in those now when we go for walks in the woods where we can't bring the stroller. So it is worth it for the full year. But something that I loved in those early months is the Solly baby wraps. And they are a little bit expensive. There are different wrap options out there, but I loved this wrap because it essentially just like makes your baby feel like they're back in the womb and it's so cozy. There are YouTube links online to show you how to set up the wrap because it's a little complicated at first, but I would hold my girls in the Solly wrap all the time in the first like three to four months. Next is the Dagny Dover diaper bag. So this diaper bag is gorgeous. It is so beautiful and it is so functional. It has everything you need. It is an investment though. So I did put it on my registry and one of my best friends got it for me as a gift. So because it was gifted and I didn't pay for it, I feel like I'm more apt to say it was worth it. But I do think... When you think about the cost and the expense of things, I don't know if you need this nice of a diaper bag. There are other brands like Bays that you can explore. Don't feel like you need to get the most expensive. I think that it's important to evaluate your costs and there are other brands. I will link Bays down below for you to check out as well. But check out Dagny Dover too. I know that if you are a hospital worker, you do get 20% off. So that's something to consider if that works for you. And Bays does have backpack options too. That's something else that sometimes I wish that mine was the backpack because it's just easier to be hands-free with your diaper bags, but again, whatever meets your need. And then strollers. So this is something that I know we all consider as new parents, what stroller to get. We're told there's so many out there and we did get the up a baby and I know it's expensive and I'm not sure if we had one baby, if we would have gotten this, but I highly recommend this stroller. It is so durable, so easy to open and close. And I think that that's something that's worth the investment because you just want good functionality when it comes to your stroller. If you can swing it, it's a great option. I know the Nuna is incredible as well, but I just have really good things to say about the Uppa Baby from my experience. The Mockingbird is another brand from Target that is comparable and literally like a quarter of the price or like, I don't know, half the price. I've heard that it, you know, doesn't have the best features in some capacity, but it is a great option if budget is super important for you. Just explore all your options, read reviews, but Up a Baby is definitely worth it if you can swing it. Next is our monitor. So we did have the Vava Baby monitor with the split screen. I would say that this is a great option for twins because you don't have to pay for two separate monitors. It's like all in one. It comes with the two monitors in the package and the split screen feature is so important. So when I'm looking at the monitor, I can see both my babies, but the quality isn't great. However, recently I was talking with one of my friends and they said that their baby monitor, you know, doesn't have great quality either. And theirs is like a really nice monitor. So it might just be 
the baby monitors aren't <laughs> always great quality anyway so i would recommend this one if you are a mom of twins swaddles so i think that the swaddles that do the work for you are the best swaddles i know that like we have muslin blankets and i know how to swaddle my baby when they're newborns you can swaddle them yourself but it's usually not as tight and perfect as the swaddles that literally you just zip up and you wrap the baby in and you will see those swaddles on my registry the kind that literally do the work for you, I recommend those because when you're tired in the middle of the night and you need your newborn to go back to bed, using the easy swaddles are honestly the way to go. I will say something that's not on my registry but just while we're talking about it and it'll be linked down below is the Magic Merlin sleep suit. So look at the requirements for your baby, see when it's time to transition them, but once they're ready to be out of the swaddle, the sleep suit is amazing. It's a transition to get your baby out of a swaddle and it kind of, it doesn't weigh them down, but it looks like they're a big Michelin man and it just helps to keep them steady while they sleep because a lot of newborn babies and infants like have a startle reflex. So they like wake themselves up from startling in the middle of the night, but the sleep suit just helps to relax them. And as for like blankets, I just re recommend any muslin blanket you can get your hands on. They're the best, they're so cozy and they're on my registry, so you'll see them. The Hatch Rest Sound Machine is a must. 100% absolutely need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. The white noise setting, the light on it, it is an alarm clock, it is just amazing. And again, it's an investment, but once your babies get older, you can still use it. Whether you bring it into your room, it has incredible features, or you use it for your children as they get older, it is definitely worth it in my opinion. The Frida Baby Humidifier. Humidifiers are so important for your child and we love this one. I will say this is another thing that is expensive because it's a baby humidifier. You can get a regular humidifier. It's going to do the exact same thing. Nursing chairs, we do have the Baby Letta Tuba Swivel Glider and Cream. This is the extra wide glider for two babies. I think it is awesome if you do have twins. We got a second nursing chair though. That's like a rocking chair, way more affordable. And I will link that down below as well because at nighttime I'm in one chair, Jonathan's in another, and it became too difficult to only have one. I will say my biggest thing is that you don't need a recliner. I know a lot of people are like, do I get the glider? Do I get the recliner? I don't think you need the recliner because you want that ability to swivel or rock to help your child go to sleep. For me, my biggest thing is safe sleep with my child. I really feel strongly about it. I don't really believe in co-sleeping and I really don't believe in falling asleep with your baby on you in a chair. And for me, if I had the recliner and I had late nights with my baby, I would have been more apt to falling asleep with them on me. So I liked that I was never even tempted. With the glider, it's still so comfortable to relax, but I never fell asleep with my child on me. I recommend a glider or a rocker. I have a changing basket, so I love this changing basket. It is cute, it goes right on my dresser. That's another thing, you don't need a whole changing station or changing stand. Use your dresser, maximize the room in your nursery. We still use it, the girls are just starting to outgrow it. We just would get these little inserts that you'll see on my registry for inside the basket. Something that I'm just realizing I'm gonna put down below for you is that we get puppy pads off Amazon that we put on the changing basket just so if there's accidents that happen, we don't constantly have to change the insert and wash it. We just take off the puppy pad and throw it away. Next is the Halo Bassin Nest. It's a twin swivel sleeper. So I would not recommend this if you don't have twins, obviously, but Halo does have really good bassinets in general. So I think that is a must have. And if you do have twins, this one is great because it's you know safe sleep. The babies are not together, but they're in one bed, but it has a divider so they can see each other, but they are separated. So I do think it's great. It has like a vibrate feature that I don't think is great. It's a little overpriced for the features that it offers, but it's one of the only bassinets that allows your babies to sleep together. So in that regard, I think it's the best. Lastly on my registry is our waterproof crib mattress and our mattress covers. So I would highly recommend this crib mattress and mattress cover because again, safe sleep is top priority for me. And this mattress is completely breathable. So if your baby is face down, which my girls like to sleep on their belly now, if they are face down in the mattress, they can still breathe. And they can breathe through the mattress cover as well. Super important to me that 
safe sleep is number one and this mattress is like tried and true for safe sleep also it is the only mattress that i've heard of baby mattress that is um washable literally in the shower you can just put it in the shower with some soap water whatever and it washes so that's important for me you need to wash your mattresses every now and then and it can be difficult if they're not easily washed so i want to go through a few links that are not on my registry and the first is the skip hop so you'll see that up here this is something that you don't put your baby in until they're a little bit older so i think we put the girls in this around five or six months and i love it the girls love standing up they're already super comfortable on their feet and i think a big reason is because of this skip hop or hop skip what is it this is one of those stations i was talking about in the mornings we do the feeds and we plop the girls in the, these for like a little bit of time and they love it they're interactive you can take out the little toys and change them up if you want it's just such a great investment I think something else not on my registry that I actually borrowed from a friend and I would recommend you buy or try to borrow and it is a baby swing we had one from Fisher Price and the girls loved it during the day if they were really irritable and not going down for a nap easily we would put them in it for a supervised nap there are a lot of concerns with baby swings so be aware of those your baby should not be sleeping overnight in these swings or be unsupervised but if you're supervising them and they need a nap and they're not going down this swing is amazing next is a play pen so this is amazing we love this play pen this one is very big i will say we do have a big space we're very lucky in our living room to fit something like this so check out other sizes but i love this play pen so much and it's great because it's summertime now we can put this play pen outside if we want and it's just really durable, sturdy, it's cute, and I just highly, highly recommend. I do have a little section that I'll have down below for like feeding. I mentioned that we're doing baby led weaning, so we have feeding smocks, spoons, cups, things that are really great for introducing solids. There are also cup options that have straws that are linked down below that we're now introducing to our girls and they love them. Silicone is really great for this. Something else is a pacifier medicine dispenser and this is really important and been a game changer for us. There's been a few times that the girls have been teething and they needed Tylenol and this essentially is like a pacifier mouthed Tylenol dispenser or medicine dispenser. So it's like a syringe that has a pacifier at the end to just easily give your baby the Tylenol. They suck on it and it just always works really well as opposed to trying to like shove the Tylenol down the baby's throat, have them throw it up. It just gets really stressful, especially in the middle of the night, and I just really, really recommend this dispenser. Freezer teethers, so these have been so wonderful through the teething process, which is inevitable. Your baby will likely teeth. <laughs> you essentially just fill them up with water, put them in your freezer, and it's like a liquid popsicle, but not liquid, it's frozen. It's a frozen popsicle for your baby. You can, as they get older, put like juice in the teethers to help them, you know, enjoy them a little bit more, but it feels so good on their gums. And then lastly, I haven't really touched on diapers to each their own. I know a lot of people love Coterie diapers. We have used them. Coterie is one of those brands that markets all over social media. So who knows if they really are that much better than Pampers, Huggies, all of that. We actually love the Costco brand of diapers. The girls love them. I think the secret is to always size up in diapers so that there's room for your baby. There's not that friction of like a tight diaper on them, especially when they soil the diaper. I think the biggest trick is just to size up and that really solves a lot of your problems. We've always sized up in diapers and the girls have been able to sleep through the night after even going to the bathroom and all of that. Overnight though, we do use the Pampers overnight diapers. That is something we started a few months ago and that's helped so much. We size up in those as well. Diapers can really affect baby sleep, so that's something that's super important in my opinion. But as mentioned, that was the last item on my list. Hopefully this was helpful to hear some of my must-haves, things that I really regret buying. For the most part, I'm really happy with the different items we've had in our home. I was really thoughtful when purchasing every item and borrowing and all of that. And that's something else too that I suggest is use your network, use your community of people around you to try to see what you can borrow from others. It can get overwhelming to load your home up with all of these items and buy all of these items that you might end up not 
needing. Again, I can't believe that our daughters are almost a year old. I might do another video like this a year from now to help you get through the toddler years, so stay tuned. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for being here, and again, happy Mother's Day to all of you mothers out there watching. Treat yourself to Ana Luisa. The link is down below for you along with the discount code. You will not regret it, and you absolutely deserve it. So I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll take you to be wilder I don't fit into your parts